The way Grandad did things and the way we do things are very different. The old days, they really didn't really care much about sustainability or future thing. They just did what they had to do for the time. The Great Barrier Reef is our sea country. You know, our people have been utilising and, and the resources on and around uh, that sea country for thousands of years and countless generations. The Reef Aid Program is really around partnering with uh, you know, landholders, with traditional owners, with philanthropists, with government to actually make an impact on water quality on the Great Barrier Reef. And we're doing this by remediating coastal wetlands and also remediating gully erosion, stream bank prevent sediment. With country, everything's connected and it's critical that we don't just separate land and sea. What you do on land affects what happens on, on, on the sea. The reef is of tremendous value to all Australians. It's of value to everyone as a world heritage area. It attracts around two million visitors per annum. We've got around 30 different project sites, right from Cairns right down to uh, Rockhampton and Fitzroy catchment. To date, we've prevented 22,000 tonnes of sediment going to the Great Barrier Reef in our gully program. And with our coastal wetland project, we've restored 700 hectares of coastal wetlands. Reef aid as a project is a, is a great in, uh, incentive for uh, people to take on board and with Greening Australia's support. We have about 10,500 trees in, in now, which is uh, quite a few. Greening Australia's Reef Aid Program provides a really important role in remediation activities in particular, and they're the things that are going to make a difference in the short term, uh, as well as working with landholders to do that, which is a really important component of the program. And over the next five years, uh, we really want to scale up what we want to do. You know, we have an ambition until 2030 that we want to save 400,000 tonnes of sediment reach in the Great Barrier Reef. That's 20% of the sediment target. We also have a target around the nitrates, reducing dissolving nitrates through our coastal wetland work. We just can't leave the health and well-being of that reef to one sector. It's got to be a complete partnership. As a community of scientists and the broader community, I think we've learned a lot about managing the Great Barrier Reef and I think we're in a position where we really need to reflect back on what we've learned and apply that in a practical way. The, the whole community, uh, everybody needs to um, put their shoulder to the wheel here. My name's Lenny Parisi. My name is Lenise Wern. My name's Craig McGrogan. My name is Jane Waterhouse. My name is Jacob Cassidy. I'm an Awagi Mumbra man and saving the reef starts here.